is also here telling us the same story is in central province. So the cries everywhere, people cannot afford food, people are poor, and so on. So as leaders, we must always consult and start discussing which way forward. Because actually we cannot continue like this when we are the representatives of people. We must keep on trying to find uh, alternative ways of solving their problems. And that is where we are. Thank you. Uh, mbani kwa gavana leo kwa kwa Kamega mheshimiwa wa Uparanya ambaye ni kiongozi naibu kiongozi wa chama cha ODM na hapa tuko na mgeni eh, kutoka kule mlimani mheshimiwa Maina Wanjigi kuja kuzungumzia masuala ya kisiasa na vile maisha inaendelea na hali ya serikali hii vile inatupeleka tumepata kwamba malalamisho ambayo tuko nayo katika eneo la magharibi ndio yale pia malalamisho ambayo wanainja kule mlima Kenya wanayapitia na sisi tumeanza kuzungumza kama viongozi kutoka mlima na magharibi kwa na msimamo mmoja kwamba tuambie wananchi maswala ambayo yanatukumba na vile tunaweza pata suluhisho sisi kama wakilishi wadi ambao tunatoka Kakamega nataka tuseme katika mrengo wetu wa azimio tuko karibu 60 na sisi wote tumesimama nyuma ya mheshimiwa Uparanya kama kiongozi wetu na tunashtumu hali ya uchumi ushuru ambao unatozwa sana kuliko kawaida na tunasema kama viongozi tutazidi kuungana na viongozi wetu ambao watatupea mwelekeo na tukiungana hapa na mheshimiwa Wanjiga ambaye ni mweledi katika mambo ya kiuchumi na uongozi tunataraji kwamba tunaweza kusongesha hali ya maisha mbele. Na tukifupi tu tuseme mambo ya fedha zile za kuja katika kaunti. Nataka tuambiane ukweli kwamba serikali wa inadanganya kila mara pesa zimekuja lakini hata saa hizi miezi mbili bado fedha zijakuja. Kwa hivyo mkisikia wakisema gavana hawajafanya kazi pia kuna malalamisho ambayo serikali kuu inafai bebe na imezidi kutoza watu pesa mingi lakini pesa hazifiki kwa mashinani kwa muda. Kwa hivyo kama viongozi tunaunga mkono au mazungumzo kati ya Mheshimiwa Njigi na Mheshimiwa Paranya kwamba tuanze safari hii ya kukomboa nje ya Kenya Asante. Okay. Eh <coughs> 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 uh, asante sana kama mjumbe. Inakaribisha nyinyi wote hapa. Akaribisha uh, Jimmy Wanjiki ambaye amekuja kutembelea governor ambaye alikuwa governor wetu na deputy party leader wetu wa ODM governor weekly fundamental paranya uh, mara kwa mara tumesema na bado nataka kurudia kwamba uh, sisi tuko tayari kama jamii ya mlembe kuunga mkono governor paranya kuchukua uongozi na hata vile baba anaenda EU sisi tunaunga mkono ya kwamba yeye ndiye anafaa kuwe party leader na tukimuunga mkono tumekuwa tukieleza governor Paranya atoke nje atafute marafiki na vile mnaona hapa mmeanza kuona marafiki wa governor Paranya tumekaribisha uh, uh, kiongozi Jimmy Wanjigi na tunawaambia wazungumuze tutembee pamoja maneno ya ushuru ikipanda tukataze uh, William Ruto ukweli ya kwamba ushuru anafaa punguze tuambie yeye ukweli ya kwamba maneno ya housing and levy angalie vile koti ilisema sio maneno ya kuja bunge na kuambia wa bunge wa Kenya kwanza lazima upige hivi lazima upige hivi kwa hivyo tuko hapa hapa ni butere kwa boma ya governor Paranya na tunasema ya kwamba Kenya inatakana dialogue sio tu mambo ya kuimpose taxes kwa Kenya yenye inawaumiza kwa maana ukiona mtu anasema ya kwamba payslip yangu hata haina mahali itakatu mara ni housing mara ni hii na hii ndio mimi nasema ya kwamba tumefika mahali tunataka tuzem, tusemezane kwa niaba ya mwananchi wa kawaida mwenye anaumia punda amechoka okay. yeah. i'll be brief ni machacha majembe eh, former senator aspirant bungoma 2022 I've come to witness uh, a big movement the movement that can change Kenya it has started today thank you very much uh, excellency and party leader uh, Jimmy when Jimmy uh, for joining governor Oparanya it's just a start and the revolution starts like today and then we form government we just want to form government where people are impatient of what is being done and thank you very much governor for hosting this big delegation hosting us from bungoma we have come to say bungoma and transoya we are together
we kindly urge other people, other governors to join. This is the system, this is the government, and the government of the day. We kindly say, be strong, stand with the people. Today, we have come to witness how government is formed. Thank you. Uh, Governor Asante Sana. Uh, Asante Sana. Now, we came to pay a courtesy call on my good friend, Governor, Governor Emeritus uh, Oparanya, who, as you know, was my deputy party leader when I was in ODM. A man I respect, and I thank him for his hospitality. What you are witnessing today is not showbiz. It is the first step to the birth of a future that is going to take us away from the pain of one William Samoy Ruto. And I need Kenyans to understand one thing. Kuna ushuru ambao ni atumiza. Mambo ya uchumi na kila kitu. Lakini ata ukiwa na ugonjwa, even of your finger or your toe, mukisikia uchungu mujua ni huyo ni neni, William Samoy Ruto. Any pain you have in you is cause of one man called William Samoy Ruto. What you are seeing today is the beginning of a platform where we are saying we no longer can take this anymore. And we are even wondering, come four years is too far. So I want you to just watch our steps, watch our steps keenly, and I want to thank all the leaders that joined this meeting. Watch our steps. Ukumbele, kuna maneno mingi. Asante ni sana. God bless you. Any questions? Yes, yeah. Umweshino Wanjigi, that statement said that you are back to the house, you are back to the ODM house, because if you supported His Excellency Oparanya, are you back home? Is there another question? And the second question. I can see both of you are fighting over the house of somebody who has... See? And even if Baba goes to the AU, to the AU as a chairman, still, that does not remove him from politics. So there is no vacuum at all. I think I have to be clear. And so, so I think he even answered you, the question. You can answer the he has answer. answered the question for me. We did not come here to discuss parties. <laughs> yeah. We came here to discuss the pain of the people. In other words, the people's agenda. Yes. Yeah. And the people's agenda is number one. Okay? Number one. Yeah. I came to visit my friend. Yeah. And he has hosted me very well. Asante yeah. Nisan. Yes, you talked of uh, Kenneth Matiba and Martin Shikuku. And here is Jimmy Wanjigi and Weekly Oparanya. Do <laughs> 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 you want to bring back the hardline kind of politics we had during that time? I think Since uh, Raila is now out, Mandamano are out, do you who, want to... Who tells you <laughs> Raila is out? You know you are, put, you, are, you are putting words in our mouth. Raila is not yet out. Uh, let me emphasize this. Yes. Yes. is not yet out. Yes. Mandamano is not yet out uh -huh. because Mandamano is in the constitution. Yes. What you, you saw the other day in uh, uh, doctor yes. Uh, yes. Yes. moving around, protesting. Yes. That is Mandamano. What was it? But the proportion. <laughs> the Mandamano. Yes. Yes. Now, you've asked a good question. Yes. Uh, those were the revolution politics of the 1990s. I have said continually. This is a time for revolution again. So don't ask about what kind of politics. You know the kind of politics revolution is about. Mm -hmm. It is here with us. Mm -hmm. So you understand going forward what it is. Yes. Does that you, answer your question? Yes. You yes. Answer that. You ready for jail? You ready for anything? Ah, please. What have I not faced, my friend? In my family, we had a nyumba. For three days. What have I not faced? We are ready. I have had a unique position. Of being in an obituary for Gazetia Nation. Yes. Well, he said, I'm dead. Before I'm dead, you know, I think they gave me more life. Okay? 
I have been put in an obituary, what mm. is called a death promise. So what other fear do we have? We don't have it. We don't have it. I, I think uh, in a matter of time, we are done so that maybe we can continue our work. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but let the bishop, the bishop, uh, <laughs> and the bishop, uh, after, after, after I've done, I will pray. Okay, uh, good evening, members, members of press, uh, His Excellency, Governor, our guest, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi, our human rep and member of parliament present, MCS. My name is our Bishop Mlumba, as I've said. I want to make this clear to our former governor and the Mwishimiwa Jimi Wanjigi Yakwamba, the church, we are crying. You have seen what has happened to Bishop Margaret Wanjiru three days ago. Kanisa tunalia, tulidanganywa, na buwana asifiwe mingi, imefika mahali inaturamba. So, ninaomba kwa unyenyekevu wa bunge walio hapa, kuna masharti tumewekewa ambayo imefanya ni mtembelefo magavana ili aweze kuwaongelesha kuhusu taxation ya kwamba kila mia tunayotoa pata kanisani five bob iende kwa serikali usipatikane na kanisa la mabati ama la udongo so those things zinakuja na zimetutetemesha some of us some of the bishop we are in a cry that's why nimeona nije nione our deputy party leader, ODM, and by name,